Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? What's shaking, man? It's your boy, IQ. You see me? You see how I'm, how I'm coming, nigga? What's good, man? Welcome back, man. Welcome back, man. You know? Um, figured I'd hit y'all, man. It's Sunday. I figured I'd hit y'all with some good, you know, some good quality stories, some good good discussion today, man. Um, Yeah, so today, this video, I'm going to talk about how I lost my girlfriend to the streets. Back to the streets, she went. Um, okay. So back in, what grade was that? I think like 10th grade. I started dating this girl. Um, for sake of conversation, let's call her Sarah. <laughs> for sake of conversation, let's call her Sarah, right? So I was dating this girl named Sarah. Um, you know, we, we was young, we was 16 and stuff like that, you know, high school. Um, um, she was, she was like, you know, I was, I was in love. I was super in love with her. Um, we used to dress, we used to wear clothes and, you know, do the same outfit thing. And you know how it is like puppy love or whatever. Um, um, but we ended up staying together for about two years, but, um, we ended up breaking up because I'm about to tell you why we ended up breaking up. So when I met her, I was, you know, I was young, so I had a lot of friends and stuff. I used to always be outside. And you know, when you're a kid, you outside, you going to little teen parties, you just out, you out and about, you ain't really got no responsibilities except for school. Um, so, you know, we, we, you know, I met her parents, she met my people, we was going on dates and movies and the whole nine, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, I started to take her for granted. And I'm gonna tell you how it happened. All right, so I was, you know, I had, like I said, I had a big group of friends. And, you know, I was trying to balance out hanging with my boys and my, my girl. But not at first, at first I was just going off her. But then, you know, I was like, I gotta still hang with my boys. I used to bring her around, you know, I was, you know, I was young, you know, I used to bring her around the boys and stuff like that. Um, everybody was cool, you know, it was kind of like a little family actually. Um, so, as time, as our relationship progressed, you know, I started to get more like, how can I say? I started to be more, I started to get comfortable with her. I used to take her, I started taking her for granted, like, cause she was such a good girl. Like, um, it's just such a good person, man. She's a good, great family. They raised her well. She don't have a a, a, a malice bone in her body, man. I mean, beautiful, spirit beautiful, um, just bubbly, just everything that, you know, a young man would want in a young woman, you know what I'm saying? Or re really a man, just, you know. Um, so, you know, I used to bring her around. I used to go hang with the boys and we'd be over there like recording music or, you know, doing what the guys do, smoking a little bit, drinking a little bit, you know, nothing too major. Um, and after a while, you know, I could kind of tell that she was kind of like getting, you know, like she didn't want to do that no more. Like she was kind of like, she used to put like, yo, are we, we're not staying here the whole time, are we? No, nah, babe, we just, I just came over here for a couple minutes and we holler at them real quick, then we can go. Okay. So, um, yeah, so the one thing I do really remember, like, all right, so I used to like, like I said, she got tired of that. She got tired of hanging around the boys. And women out there, y'all know. You, if, if, and, if, and to my to my fellas, if you don't know, your girl don't want to hang around your niggas like that. It's, it's multiple. First of all, it's multiple reasons you shouldn't be doing that. Which is, you don't want them getting to know your niggas like that. Not saying you can't trust your niggas, but that's them your friends. Them not her friends. So I'm kind of like incorporating it all in one. Like we're these are her friends. Like we are. But yeah, and one of my homeboys. Girlfriend was like, her, they was best friends, but it was like more than just one person. We was hanging around. I used to hang around a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? 20, 30 people and 15 and, you know, lots of people, you know what I'm saying? Um, at a time, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, so she started to get tired of that. And uh, I remember specifically, I think, what was the, the straw? We, well, we had started arguing, but over that, she got tired of that. And then I kept doing it, like, and she used to come and, pick me up, you know what I'm saying? I used to drive her car and all that. And, you know, I, I'd be, she'd be in the whole opposite side of town. And I'd be in the whole opposite side of town. And I'd tell her, the, all right, this is the first thing, right? So, boom. It's like, it's a, it's late night. I think it's like a Saturday night or maybe a Sunday night. It's a night. 
Friday night. So I call her. I'm like, hey, boo, what you doing? She's like, nothing. What you doing? I'm like, oh, like you trying to hit kick it tonight? Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's hang out. It's like, all right. I'm like, yeah, I got a little bit of money. Let's, you know. She's like, what you want to do? I'm like, I don't know. We'll figure something out when you get here or whatever. So keep in mind, she lived on a whole other side of town. Like, literally, I lived all the way on the other side. She lived all the way on the other side. So she would have to drive to me, which is not a super. It's longer than driving down the street on this side. Of the, you know what I mean? So she gets over there. I get in the car. I tell her, hey, I said, um, go to 7-Eleven. I said, look, we about to go to my homeboy house. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, just for a little bit. Um... Da, 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 da. It's gonna be a little bit. They um they want me to get them something to drink or something. So I tell her to stop at Seven Eleven, and uh, I get um like a, I think I got a, I got like a big thing of Budweiser, like a forty eight pack, whatever the biggest like a barbecue size beer beer case. You know the big big ass ones, not the twenty four, like the thirty eight or the thirty whatever it is. It was a little, lot of beer. That's how many. That just lets you know how many people I was in. So she's like, why are you buying all that beer? I'm like. Oh, no, I was getting it for the boys. Um, I'm probably going to drink like one or two and I'm just going to let them have it. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. She like, all right. Probably deep inside, she ain't trust or believe that shit. She like, she, why is she waiting? Like, all right. So I'm like, just go over there real quick and we're going to, you know, holler at them and then we're going to we gonna dip off. We're going to do our own thing. So we go over there. <sighs> my dumb ass, man. My in, inconsiderate, selfish, immature just piece of shit, little kid self, teenager self. We pull up. I run in the crib. I say, "Yo, I'll be right back." So I take the beer in there. The whole, the whole, all my niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? Niggas chilling. It's like a Friday night. You feel me? So type of you know good old times. I'm like, damn, like, fuck, I want to stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I got, I got sir outside. So I'm like, fuck it, yo. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if she want to come in. If she want to come in, I'm gonna tell her I'm staying, and then I'm gonna get get up with her tomorrow. So uh, I come back outside. I'm like, I I, I open the car door. The passenger. I'm like, hey. I'm like, you want to come in? Or? She was like, no, no. I like. She was like, uh, uh. I don't know. Like, you could just see on the look on her face. Like, not like, no, nigga, I don't. I'm like, damn. I'm like, look. Well, um, I'm gonna holler at you like tomorrow or something. Da, da, da. She just was pissed. Right, and I'm so stupid, I don't even see, I can't even tell. So um I go kick it with the boy, she the above, whatever. I don't know where she went, right? So um that was that was like the the, the second to last time that like the, the second to last straw that broke the camel back. So um next time I'm way across town again. This I don't remember the this is probably like a week, two weeks after, right? So um I'm at my cousin house, right? And I'm hungry as I don't know what, but around there, it's like the suburbs, right? So you can't just walk to the corner store, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the hood. These niggas live in, like, nice, big-ass houses. Like, I used to go over that cousin house, and it was, like, the rich cousin. You know what I'm saying? They had all the newest clothes. Like, I, I was I was pretty fresh, but they used to buy shit straight off the mannequin. The the, the outfit that you see in the mall that, that's on the mannequin and shit, they buy the whole fucking outfit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the exact one. And it, I, I, it's not that I couldn't do that. Um... I didn't want to do that, but when the way they was doing it, they was getting the outfits, whatever the newest collection of whatever um, clothing brand, they was buying it right off the rip. So that shit was like hundreds, of, a couple hundred dollars or for an outfit. Jeans was like 80 or 100 or something. And shirt was like 56. Like it was, you know what I mean? Then you got to buy the shoes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I was over there and I told her, I said, hey, sir. I said, what you doing? She said, um, I'm at a cookout with my friend. My friend mom too. It's like a family thing. I mean, and now she's not even at her house. She's even further out. She's by the airport. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm like, all right, cool. Um, you think when you can come over here? I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Can you stop at the Wendy's or something? You know, there's a Wendy's over there. I want to, and I'm kind of like disguising it, like I want to hang with you too, which I did, but I was hungry as shit. Just being selfish and considerate, man. She was like, all right, okay, when I'm done this. So I'm like, all right, bet. So time passed, like maybe an hour, two hours or something. I'm calling her. I'm blowing her phone up. She pick up finally. She's like, hello? I'm like, yeah, what's up? Where you at? I'm, I'm at, with an attitude. Like, let me get my other phone. I'm like, hello? Yeah, sir, where you at, man? Like, she was like, I'm still over here. I'm like, man, I'm hungry as hell, man. Like, come on, fuck that shit. She's like, no, it's my friend. This is like her stick girl. This is her homegirl. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, 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 I'm getting aggy. She's getting, I'm getting aggy with her. She's getting aggravated with me um, and annoyed. So long story short, she never came. And that was my last time I seen her 
before um, she was bringing me back like some shit that I left in her car, like some LeBron. I had left some LeBrons in her car and like a Dicky shirt and some jeans, some little shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she never came. She never brought me that food or whatever. And stopped picking up my motherfucking calls too. So um, I'm calling, 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 calling her for like at least a week. She, all right, so the first thing I noticed was on her voicemail, it was me and her on the voicemail. Like, hey, you reached Sarah. Hey, this is cute. Da, da, da. You know, like on some lovey-dovey type, whatever, whatever. So um, it wasn't that. It was it was Marcus Houston naked. Now, I don't know if y'all know what naked is, but stop what you stop the video. Go type in naked, and you're going to see what type of song. Like straight sexual song, like. Why you have who? This not that's not our song. You know what I'm saying? Why is no no? I'm sorry. I'm I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. That was the second time she changed her. The first one was a Keisha Cole song called. I've, it was actually Keisha's first ever song featuring Kanye West. It's called I've Changed My Mind. I've changed my mind. I don't love you no more. I'm like, what the fuck? Is this a subliminal? Like, what is going on? She's not picking up. So she, so then I hear the Marcus Houston Get Naked song, or whatever. Then I'm like, all right, she changed her mind. That was that song the other day. Now it's, let's get naked. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? I'm like, yo, am I loot? Is, is this? I'm thinking I can get her back. I just swear I had her wrapped around my finger and shit. So she never pick up, never pick up. Finally, she, somebody picks the fuck up. And it's a dude. He pick up the phone. I'm like, yo, what's sir at? You know what I'm saying? This is like a couple days later. He like, who? who? Who is this? I'm like, man, this your boyfriend, man. You better, hey, I'm crazy, nigga. You better tell a nigga. He's like, like, man, look, look, man. Look, she left her. And this, this fucked me up. I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know what he meant by this, but I knew it wasn't good. Like the way he said it, he was kind of like shitting on me. Like I don't know if he was saying he did something. Whatever. He was like, oh, um, yeah, she left her phone in my pants last night. Like he didn't say my jeans or my pocket. Her, with like, was she wearing you? Like. Wow, I'm like nigga, you better ask her ass. I'm, 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 I'm so crushed. I'm just, I'm trying to get to him. I'm, he ain't got nothing to do with shit. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, she, he just like, all right, like he ain't even tripping. He, he, he got the upper hand. You know what I'm saying? Like she probably could have been right there. So, uh, yeah. So come to find out, the dude was one of her. I right, she had a friend, right? She had a friend. Her friend had, I, I met her friend and I met her friend family before. They had like little gatherings and shit. I went over there as her boyfriend, which I was, before, we, you know, it got rocky. Come to find out it was her, one of her friend, one of her, she had, like, her friend had like four brothers. So it was one of her friend, four brothers, man. And I was just like, damn. I, then I started thinking like whole time. I'm like, damn, how long? Like, I, I probably, I know this nigga. I just wanted this. I, I, I still don't know which nigga it was. I barely remember them. But I know I, I met all four. There was four of them niggas. And my my dumb ass, I was like, these niggas like, oh, these niggas some squares. Like, these niggas ain't built like me. These niggas, she don't even like that shit. Like, yeah. So, um, so now, <laughs> that broke my heart. I was drunk and sick for like two days. Not like physically sick, but like, everybody was like, what's wrong with you? Q, what's wrong with you? They see me sit down. What's wrong with you, bro? You good? I'm like, yeah. I couldn't even eat. Nigga, I lost weight, nigga. Bro, I was depressed. You know what I'm saying? That was the first time I ever felt heartbreak like that. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I was a teen still. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, but I just, you know, thugged it out. You know what I mean? Ended up eventually meeting someone else. Um, which became the mother of my kids or whatever. But, uh, yeah, man, that shit just totally crushed me, man. I, I lost her to the streets, bro. Like, not literally, like, to the streets, but, like, she went, she went back to, she went to go find another nigga, like, you know what I'm saying, I don't know what to say, I didn't say she was dying, I didn't say that, but I felt like I lost her to the streets, like, she went back to the world, like, she was in my world, she was my world, I was, I thought that was her world and shit, so, the shit was ill, man, um, and then it was a whole nother, and then me trying to get her back, that's a whole nother video, I'm probably gonna do that video too, um, I'll do that one later or something, but, me trying to get her back was a whole fucking ordeal that I got to That's a whole other video, man. Um, but more of the story is, man, don't take your women or don't, women and men. Don't take your companion for granted just because they nice, friendly. Nobody likes to be disrespected, shit on, played, um, overlooked. Um, um, none of that, man. Nobody like that shit. So whatever you do, man, don't take them for granted, man, because, uh, Damn, but then again, 
I also feel like if that didn't happen, maybe I wouldn't be even in front of y'all right now. Maybe the I wouldn't. I'd have been so gone over her and so wrapped into her that maybe I would have been like not even. I mean, I was doing music back then, but I wasn't serious. But maybe that was a chain of events. That was part of the chain of events that helped me get more serious and get to where I'm at. Because if I would have been her, I would have been. We had plans on getting a house and everything after high school. Like, uh, man, it was it was bad, G. It was bad, man. But um, if y'all got any stories like that, man, drop some comments, man. Like, subscribe, all that shit. Um, I love y'all, man. Peace, man. IQ, man. Go get the album, man. IQ is called Rich. This is the cover of the regular version. Deluxe version is on my channel. It's on Spotify, iTunes, all platforms. Anywhere, just type in IQ Rich. Look at the cover. Me with that guap in my hand. You feel me? 100. I love y'all, man. Peace.